Yeah, so, um, so how do I think about credit and debt? Um, three main points I want to convey. You can have both too little creation of credit and debt and too much created of, creation of debt. Um, and what I mean by that, um, people always think it's better to have less growth, less credit growth. But the key is whether it's a good investment. So too little credit or debt growth can create as bad or worse economic problems of having too much. Um, the costs come in foregone uh, opportunities. So there's an opportunity cost to being able to have that. Um, for example, Russia has very little debt growth and uh, that way, and they have very little development. The best thing to do is get that return on investment. The second um, is what matters most is whether borrowing gener generates sufficient income to service the debt. And I should say that um, that's important, but even there, it's not the end of the world if you have it in your own currency, which brings me to the third point. Debt crises can be managed well if the debt is denominated in a currency of a country. In other words, it, the real problems get in when you have foreign debt and you don't have the printing press. Um, it gives you a lot of leeway if you've got the legal system and you can also produce money to service that debt because debt is a promise to deliver money and when you can fiddle around with that, you have a lot of leeway. So debt crises can be managed well if the debt is denominated in currency a country controls. And second, if policymakers know how to manage one well and have the authority that they can do so. In other words, every debt crisis that you, in which there's your own, um, if you have that ability to manage your monetary policy, can produce a type of restructuring in which you can get past it. I'm not saying it's going to be painless, but you can have a restructuring and then it passes. So if you look at all the debt crises, they've lasted a lim relatively limited amount of time. I mean, like a bad one lasts two or three years. And they are, wow, they are big deal crises during that period of time. But uh, somehow we got past them all, and the way they got past them all was to do the restructuring. So you could do that um, like China's right now in the process of doing, of restructuring, but you don't have to wait for a debt crisis. You can do it uh, preemptively. You can deal with it. By far the best investment you can make is in yourself. If you invest in yourself, nobody can take it away from you.